Okay, so Cowboys just lost 10 to 13. Who gives a shit? Luke McCown did not impress at all in the fourth quarter. Um, let's see. Players that I liked in this game were Demontre Moore. He had a good game, and Kayvon Frazier. I like some of the hits he laid on the Rams players. The players that I fucking loved in this game, would, uh, one of them would definitely be Xavier Woods. Just attacking the shit out of the ball carrier. Uh, he, he missed like one or two tackles, but for the most part, he was attacking the shit out of whoever was, you know, carrying the football. Um, within like the last five minutes of the fourth quarter, wide receiver screen, he, he sniffed that shit out perfectly, dude. Loved what I saw from Xavier Woods. Um, I liked, I loved what I saw from, um, uh, Cooper Rush and Rico Gathers. Gathers got an, uh, another touchdown this week, and, uh, Cooper Rush went eight for eight, uh, throwing a touchdown pass to Rico. I want to see those two getting second team snaps. I want to see, because Cooper Rush, he outplayed, uh, Callen Moore big time in this fucking game. I want to see those two splitting snaps and just let Luke McCown take over in the third, uh, third and fourth quarter. Um, I want to see Rico Gathers take over some of Jeff Swain's snaps too, because Swain he's still dropping a few passes. Um, Taco Charlton he definitely stepped his game up. Uh, fucking tweet, sorry. Um, Taco Charlton stepped his game up. Three tackles. One tackle for a loss, one pressure, and he got his first preseason sack. Damn near was a safety. Um, definitely liked what I saw from Taco. He got he got a lot more involved in this game than what the fuck he was involved in last week versus the Cardinals. He, he Man, he got his ass chewed up big time by Rod Marinelli, I'm willing to bet. Hopefully we can continue to develop him because... That was pretty good. I want to continue to see, you know, more of this. Hopefully he can get better week by week. Um, next week we're going up against the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, playing in Dallas. First game uh, in AT&T Stadium. Um, I'm going to the Cowboys and Raiders game. Which uh, is week three. Which is usually, you know, dress up rehearsal. So, I'll get to see fucking Marshawn Lynch. Uh, Zeke. Dak, Dez, uh, fucking hopefully Jalen Smith, him going, man, I hope, <laughs> I hope I see him versus Marshawn Lynch. That shit, that will be more intense than last year's fucking Cam Chancellor and Zeke competition. That was fucking insane. Um, you know, just, just, you know, a little bit of daydreaming. Jalen Smith obviously being my favorite player. Um... Not to take anything away from Dak or Zeke or Dez, it's just my personal favorite player. Um, even though he hasn't played, but I don't give a shit. He's going to be a beast. Um, hopefully we can see him next week. It was, man, he, it was unlikely he was going to play, but at the same time we know he could have played. Um, hopefully we can see him next week. Um, I'm very confident about seeing him versus the Colts in the home opener. Um, defense in the third quarter, holy fucking shit, they took over. Um, second team offense. <laughs> First half offense was so fucking pathetic. Second team offense, they... They still haven't even scored any points. I'll, I'd be fucking surprised if they even made a pass midfield in this game or the Cardinals game. Um, so, defense, uh, first half defense, they did all right. I liked what I see. I liked what I, uh, what I saw from Taco and Demontre Moore again. Um, just week by week, I just. Hope that Taco keeps getting better. Um, and Xavier Woods, I I cannot stress enough how fucking beast he was in this game. Um, but anyways, Cowboys versus um, Colts next week. 
I'm very confident that we'll see Jalen then, but then, then again, I think I said the same shit last week um, after we after we beat the Cardinals. Um, we'll just see what happens. A lot of people got pissed after I said uh, that the season was over. Um, if Zeke didn't win his appeal, I, I want him to appeal every fucking game of that suspension, by the way. I don't want to settle for shit. There might be some bitch-ass cowboy fans who say, Oh, I'll settle for a two-game or three-game suspension. He should not be fucking suspended in the first place. But... <sighs> At the same time, deep down, a lot of y'all know this. There is no fucking way that we can expect our all of our defensive rookies to play out of their fucking mind and play out of you know play at an elite level straight out of college it's it's fucking ridiculous okay they they had a great game today okay Chidobi didn't play he fucked up his hamstring kept him out I think just as you know precautionary issue along with Bryce Butler uh, he fucked his toe or foot up um we should see those two back on the field next week. Um, but anyways. <clears throat> so you mean to tell me that you believe that our rookie corners can cover Odell Beckham Jr., Julio fucking Jones, uh, Brandon Marshall, and... Um, uh, I don't know, whatever beast-ass wide receivers we're going up against this year. It's, dude, <laughs> it's a, it's honestly a reach to say that we're going to make it past a wild card round. Okay, just don't fucking reach. I hate it when Cowboy fans fucking reach and talk out of their ass on some delusional shit. Um... This year, it's going to be a rebuilding year, more specifically for our defense. And I know that's hard for you guys to take in because of last year, oh, Dez, Deke, and Zach, blah, blah. What, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> Dez, Zeke, and Dak. But at the same time, it's a good step forward for our, de for, uh, our defense. But it's also a step back because of all the players that we lost and how short our depth chart is now. I mean, Nolan Carroll might actually take the fucking field as a starter. Nolan Carroll is fucking... He's been getting his ass torn up by Dez, Beasley, Williams ever since he first signed that contract. He is fucking pathetic. So to be on this bullshit about how all oh, these rookies are going to play insane out of their mind. Nolan Carroll is going to be the next fucking Deion Sanders out of nowhere just because we picked him up. It's bullshit. Okay? I hope to fucking God that I'm wrong and we do end up winning the Super Bowl. But at a reality standpoint. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Jalen Smith, Jordan Lewis, Jadobi Wuzier, maybe even Xavier Woods if he makes if he if he happens to be good enough to be our starting safety, they're all steps in the right direction, but it's not fucking complete yet. It's not complete. It might take one fuck, maybe even two off seasons to make this defense complete. And once that happens, we beat the fucking NFL. We're the New England Patriots. But, anyways, just wanted to clear that up. If you think... <laughs> if you think that we're gonna win the Super Bowl this year... At a reality standpoint, you're fucking retarded. But as a fan, I hope you're fucking right. But... Anyways, um, Cowboys just lost to the Rams. We're playing the Colts next week. Hopefully we get to see Jordan on the field for the first time. I feel fucking stupid, by the way, because apparently Jordan Lewis has been signed 
on the Cowboys, and I just, nobody said shit about it on Instagram, so fuck me, Jordan Lewis got signed by Dallas, so as far as I know, all of our rookies have been signed, um, hopefully we can see Ryan Switzer, I've been dying to see him, uh, we need some fucking help at returner, um, special teams over the last couple weeks have been fucking pitiful, to say the least, um, I want Cooper Rush to play with the second team offense, along with Rico Gathers, uh, hopefully Taco can continue to get better every week, um, Xavier Woods loved what I fucking saw out of him, and that's about it, I'll see you guys Wednesday, and peace.